NCBA has been working hard for the last five years to get these trade agreements passed. Cattlemen to Cattlemen recently met with members of Congress as the FTAs were being ratified to get their perspectives on the importance of agricultural trade. More in this week's Cattlemen's Capital Concerns. just voted uh, for the trade agreements uh, uh, for Panama, South Korea, and Colombia to be able to create opportunities for us to be able to export it. Uh, have one of our staff over in Taiwan right now looking for those opportunities to be able to further open markets uh, for our cattle industry, uh, for export of our potatoes and our corn uh, coming out of the state of Colorado. Uh, we have a role that we can play and when we look at an opportunity for what we do better than anybody else anywhere in the world, it's our farm and ranch community. So let's open those doors for them to be able to sell on a worldwide scale. Our export markets are critical to making sure that we can continue to maintain uh, the uh, large agricultural production that we have in the United States, so I think still the largest in the world, and as a result of that, uh, we need to be opening up more export markets so that we can have an opportunity for farmers to get a good price for their products. And uh, particularly the Korean Free Trade Agreement, but also the Colombian and Panama Free Trade Agreements will give us greater access for our food going into those markets and therefore a good sign uh, to keep um, our nation's agricultural uh, sector and particularly the beef sector healthy. Korea is one of our best potential markets for beef. We can't uh, have a, a vibrant economy in this country unless we're able to access the 95 percent of the world's population that lives outside our borders. And so these free trade agreements um, are important. Each country is a little bit different. Uh, Colombia is important because uh, uh, they're, they're good friends. Uh, we need friends in Central and uh, South America and uh, they've been a good friend. Um, uh, President Uribe and President Santos have done a great job. In, uh, uh, in, in that relationship, and quite frankly, it's embarrassing that we've not passed the Colombian Free Trade Agreement uh, years ago because of the friendship there. What a, such a, a great thing for uh, agriculture in Pennsylvania and across the nation, and, and frankly, good for beef. You know, we, uh, you know, currently Pennsylvania does uh, sell exports beef, but it's less than, uh, somewhere around $33 million. It's about uh, less than probably about 9% of our overall uh, uh, beef economy uh, is exported. And it, it's going to increase exponentially. It's markets. It's access to new customers. It's, it, it's the opportunity to sell what we do best. Uh, and that's create, the, the create uh, opportunities for uh, generations of ranchers to, to new markets. It, we, we've got to expand. We've got to grow. And this is, this is a one way for agriculture, one way for uh, cattlemen uh, to find new markets. The silver lining is these free trade agreements will increase our production as we address the demands uh, from Colombia, South Korea, and to a certain degree Panama. And I think we need to be very proactive in our, in our trade agreements with other parts of the world so that we can expand our cattle production because this is, you're getting the best beef in the world from U.S. cattle producers. And so I think if we're going to expand our cow herd in general, a uh, critical component is going to be these free, these free trade agreements. Make your voice heard in Washington, D.C. on issues just like this one. Become a member of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association by calling 1-866-USA-BEEF. You can also visit us online at our new and improved website. That's beefusa.org.